Hey Shalom Akim, this is Yahweh Batazak coming back with another video. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. As we all know and see through the media that World War III is, is here. And it's just a matter of time where it's going to be full blown out. And we're going to be seeing missiles. We're going to be seeing the troops coming in. In, in the streets of America implementing martial law ultimately they're going to be pushing that chip mandatory making all people and walks of life whether you're rich or poor to receive it all right and the elect through the spirit and power Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai are not going to receive that mark all right which is the mark of the beast the RFID chip known as the the RFID chip radio frequency identification or Vera chip, which is a size of a, as a, it's the size of a rice grain, which can be basically implanted in any part of your body, you know. But the scriptures refer it being implanted into the right hand or the forehead. Okay, so we're coming into those times, man. And as as I as I stated earlier, we are witnessing. Uh, uh, things going on over there in the Middle East Over there in, in Syria Next to the Euphrates River Alright There was recently Brothers already know it But I'm just I'm gonna harp on Harp on it a little bit And just go into a few scriptures Because this is all prophecy There were, Recently there was a chemical attack Upon the people of Syria With the Assad regimen And basically Trump retaliated and shot, you know, 59 Tomahawk missiles upon Syria and their bases and destroyed lives. Casual, there's many casualties, you know, and things of that nature, which, and, and you know, it was a butter, you know, cause and effect. So it was a butterfly effect to where Russia got involved, is getting involved. You know, you got the thing that is going on over here with North Korea, China. You know, beefing with one another, flexing and showing their might and intimidation. So, and now you got the U.S. battleships heading over there where they're, they're there right now in the uh, Korean Peninsula. And as long uh, as well as the Chine Chinese implemented 150,000 150, soldiers or deployed 150,000 so soldiers. All right. And basically they're just... uh intimidating one another basically they want to go to war man so Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai told us of these things that we're going to hear rumors of wars and things of that nature we all see the different natural disasters that are going on throughout the earth tornadoes earthquakes throughout all the season through all the days it don't matter winter uh, spring summer it doesn't matter no more man you know there they used to be broken down every now and then you got the volcanoes erupting you know this these are all signs man these are all signs of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai about to return and the earth is crying out and fighting back but uh the first scripture I want to bring out is Jeremiah 50 and 22 a sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction all right and we know the brothers us the 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 brothers that are in the truth that are the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is working with, we know it's going to be of great destruction. Now you got a lot of Americans, these simple individuals, that think it's a game, man. That that it, okay, you know, yeah, America's uh, just, you know kicking ass over there. You know how these Edomites be getting, you know, but not realizing that, hey, man, there's there's a there's a a, a, a consequence for things like that. You can only uh, get away with, with, with pushing somebody around for so long until they retaliate. But we're in 2017, man. And if you haven't seen, Russia is, is not fucking around. Korea is not playing around. All right. The, 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 these men, you know, the Iranians, you know, and, and, and they're not playing, man. You know, but we know that that it's going to be of a great destruction the third world's war 
that, that third woe that's spoken of in Revelations. There's going to be many that perish in this time. But right now, there's the sound of a battle that that drum roll is being drummed. It's gearing up, man. These nations are gearing up for war, and it's prophesied in the scriptures. So there is a sound of battle in the land. And we're in, in, in the in the prophets, the men of the Lord, and the highways and the hedges have been proclaiming years, you know, starting with Elder Tahar all the way down, you know, 30 plus years from the early 70s until this time right now, telling you that America is going to be destroyed. America is going to be uh, attacked from the inside with their with your own you know, politicians and things of that nature, the international bankers, all right, these Rothschilds, the the, uh, the the Rockefellers, all right, the Bush, the, the Clintons that want to see you Negro Latinos and Native American Indians dead, man. And even you Edomites, some of you Edomites that try to resist and try to come up, you know, trying to fight against their, their, their agenda, to push back their agenda, you're going to be destroyed too, okay? So we, the, the men of the Lord have been telling you for years that this was going to happen through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Next scripture I want to bring out is in the book of Isaiah. Chapter 9. Verse 5. It says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Con, so in the old times throughout history, when war broke out, it was through swords, shields, spears, uh, you know, axes and hammers and things of that nature. Bows and arrows, all right? Tomahawks. So... This time it's going to be through fuel and fire, man, which is the, 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 the missiles, the ICBM missiles, Tomahawk missiles, whatever different names they got out there. But to, in a nutshell, it's missiles, man. That's going to be this, this, this time, this, our age is going to be through that, that type of weaponry, advanced weaponry that the world has never seen before. And it's going to be a great destruction upon the earth america is going to be uh, ultimately destroyed it's going to be a lake of fire on this side okay this is what's coming man this is what's prophesied in the scriptures and if you don't want to take heed to it so be it he that hear it let him hear but he that forbear let him forbear the elect are going to hear and they're going to be moved in the fear and the spirit of yahweh shai to 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 uh, get themselves in order and worship Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai in spirit and truth and be in and be in these scriptures. Okay. Next scripture I want to bring out going to the book of Joel chapter 3. Start at verse This is Joel chapter 3 verse 9 proclaim that proclaim ye this among the Gentiles prepare war so through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai through the mouth of the prophets the men out on the highways and the byways have been proclaiming this to the in the spirit amongst the Gentiles saying gather you know basically you're gonna you're gonna prepare war against the the, the great whore which is America okay but ultimately, Yahweh Shai had already written it. So it was going to happen. We we're just proclaiming it. All right. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of, of war draw near. Let them come up. And that's what's happening right now, man. You got all these small uh, uh, countries and, and, and towns. And, and they're gathering up for war, man. They're preparing. They're training. You know. They're eager, man. They're eager for they, they they want to get rid of those fake Jews that are in Israel. They want to get rid of the enemy, man. 
They're sick and tired of being oppressed. All right. Ultimately, you know, they're going to try to fight against Yahweh, Yahweh Shai when they return from the, in the heavens. Verse 10, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. You see, so the, those those old time towns and, and countries in the Middle East that were once just about agriculture, you know, growing crops and, and selling cattle trade are now becoming a, a, a warlike you know purchasing artillery weaponry weapons of mass destruction verse 11 assemble yourselves and come all you heathen and gather yourselves together round about so yahweh washim yahweh shai through the spirit is gathering you you up in your in your mind to come up into war against her which is america also ultimately yahweh shai because yahweh shai wants to destroy you he wants to flex he's gonna flex his might in your face man that like, okay you know he got these worms these grasshoppers on the earth trying to flex thinking they can jump this high they can get this high trying to reach up to heavens and be boast and be proud against the the, the throne of yahweh which is the heaven in the heavens so he's gonna flex on you man when he comes with the ufos the, the chariots known as the chariots in the scriptures where the the angels and yahweh are going to be dwelling and fighting and and, and, and destroying Okay, it says, assemble yourselves and come, all you heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Okay, the missiles, they're going to come down upon y'all people, man. All right, and the laser beams, gonna be, it's simultaneously going to be destroying and destroying and all you people, man. That's where he's going he's gonna to plead with you with fire, man. He's going to plead with you with that, that, that concentrated laser beam all right verse 12 let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of jehoshaphat for there will i sit to judge all the heathen round about you see and the valley of jehoshaphat is over there in the middle east the first out the fur the fertile crescent all right between the euphrates the tigris river all right the red sea the nile river all in that 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 region is gonna is where the war is gonna pop off, man. The fertile crescent, the valley of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shapat means Yahweh's judgment. So ultimately, that's where the war is gonna begin. While America over here on this side is gonna be already up in flames, man. Okay. And it says, uh, verse thirteen. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full. The fats overflow, for the wickedness is great. Come, so Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is gonna is gonna uh, put forth his sickle, and start cropping you down, chopping you down. All right, and he's gonna smash upon you like a, like grapes in the wine press, and he's gonna be with dyed garments. Okay. For their wickedness is great, man. Because men is men are wicked. Their 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 your, their mind is contrary to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Yahweh Shai want their their order, their law, statutes, and commandments to be pushed and implemented on the earth, not men. The word of the heavenly Father is what needs to be implemented upon the face of the earth. All right. Righteousness, not wickedness, man. All this, all this oppression, all this, all this hatred. You know, all these different, this various wickedness that is being uh, uh, accepted and pushed out on the earth. The vibrations of it is un unacceptable, man. And we're in a time where Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is fed up with it. He's done winking his, winking his eye at the ignorance of men. And he commands all men everywhere to repent because that day is coming, man. The Lord ain't playing, man. You heathen are going to be destroyed. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. He that, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Talking to the main head, which is the Edomites, the so-called white man. This thing is serious, man. And the men that are on the highways and the byways, the elect, those men are serious. And they're zealous for this truth.
They're zealous to be to, to see the downfall of the enemy and to, to receive redemption from you up on high, man. Okay. It says, verse 14, multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of Yahweh was near and the valley of decision. You see, we're in the time, man. It's, it's, we're like seconds away from it now. We're not hours. We're not a day from it. We're seconds away from it now. Verse 15, the sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion because Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is like a lion, man. It says, The Lord shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But, the, but Yahweh will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. So shall you know that I am Yahweh, your power, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no more strangers pass through her anymore. And that's going to be the future, the ending of you heathens and the, and the, and the rulers, the, the wicked rulers of the earth. You're going to see this prophecy be fulfilled. When you see Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai up on high, destroying, killing, and destroying you know, like a brother once said, it's going to be like the Lord is going to is, is going to overkill. You know, I mean, you're going to be stomped. In, in, into into or ground into pot powder, man. You know. But that's where we're coming to. We're coming into some great horrific times. All right. And it's going to be through nuclear destruction. All right. That's what the new Holocaust is going to be, man. And Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is causing all this right now. What's going on in the earth right now? All right. Uh, next scripture I want to bring out. Uh, let's go to Isaiah 66. Start at verse 14. It says, And when ye see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like an herb, and the hand of Yahweh shall be known towards his servants, and his indignation toward his enemies. Right, so the elect are going to rejoice when we see these things occur, and we're rejoicing right now, we're hastening the day of the Lord. Okay, but at the same time, we're getting ourselves prepared, we're trimming our lamps. We're repenting, we're praying, we're doing the first works of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. But the end and his indignation toward his enemies. You see? Righteous judgment is going to be poured upon the enemy, the heathen, the two thirds. Verse 15. For behold, Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. And by fire and by his sword. Will Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of Yahweh shall be many. You see? So he's going to plead with you, but it's going to be to your destruction with fire. That's how he's going to speak to you. Through his son, Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's what's coming. The, 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 the fierce indignation of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Uh, next scripture I want to bring out is in the book of Ezekiel. Seven and twenty-three. Seven twenty. Uh, Ezekiel seven and twenty-three. Make a chain, for the land is full of bloody crimes, and the city is full of violence. So that's what we see when we look outside our window. That's all we see. All right. When we're on the internet, that's all we see is crimes, you know, reports of, of, of kidnappings, of, of, of murders. The police force is, is killing down Jake. Jake. Corruption, uh, you know, is everywhere, man. 
from the churches to charities to to uh, everything, man. Everything is wicked. Everything is corrupt. That's why we need Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, so he can purge and, and once and for all get rid of all the 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 the, the evil, man. The negativity. Okay. Verse 24, wherefore I will bring the worst of the heathen. Who is the worst of the heathen? Is Esau. Okay. And they shall possess their houses. And I and I will also make the pomp of the strong to cease and their holy places to be defiled. And that's what's happened to Jake. You know, because you rebelled against Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You know. Verse 25. Destruction cometh and shall and they shall seek peace. And there shall be none. You know, there's no peace here in the, in the land of America. No matter where you go, Mexico, Canada, there's it's all the same. It doesn't matter where you run, where you try to hide. It's all the same. Destruction cometh, man. Destruction is coming. The time of Jacob's trouble is at hand. Okay? And it's going to be mass killings, man. The, the world the world has never experienced what, what this, this time and this generation is going to go through. Verse 26, mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they see a vision, then shall they seek a vision of the prophet. But the law shall perish from the priest and counsel from the ancients. That's why the Lord says, seek thy creator in thy youth. Seek him early before the evil day come. Because these, these things are coming all over again. You've been through this once before. History repeats itself. You're back through the reincarnation and you're going through it over and again, all over again. And you have to take heed to what we're telling you, man. Okay? Because uh, we're living in times of, of great evil. And, 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 and it's the time to seek the vision of the prophet. But there's going to come a time, the famine of the world, where you're not going to be trying to look for that no more. Or you're not, you're not going to look for it, but you ain't going to find it. Okay, you're not gonna find it. You're not gonna find it in in the in GOCC, IUIC, these various different groups, these Hebrew Israelite groups. All right, you're not gonna find it there. You're gonna be trying to look for GMS, and the reason I say GMS is because GMS came 100% raw, man, rugged. They they weren't playing. They were being sincere. They were giving. They were feeding you through all different angles of 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 life. Through various topics, you know, through the truth. They weren't just sticking on one particular uh, uh, breakdown as far as like topic. You know, we're going in every angle, man. You can type in any kind of thing and you'll find GMS speaking about it. From, from being depressed, happy, rich, not rich, and, 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 and showing you how... To, to, to conduct yourselves in those types of situations Faith, mercy We get into all of it man You're going to be trying to look for, for us You know Verse 27 The king shall mourn and the princess shall be clothed with desolation And the hands of the people of the land shall be troubled I will do unto them, them after their way And according to their deserts Will I, will I judge judge them And they shall know that I am the Lord Right And that's the time we're coming into Alright You two thirds Alright the, the, the time of Jacob's trouble is at hand man Alright And the great violence The sound of the battles in the land This is the time to wake up This is the time to wake out of sleep man Okay The heathen are waking up They're waking up for war Now it's time for us to wake up To to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and to righteousness and to get right. To have a covering. Because Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is, is, to be, is, is, to, is, is going to be our covering, man. From the heat, from the night of the, 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 the sun. All right. Uh, next scripture. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end it with this. And... Uh, Revelations chapter 22 and 7 it says behold I come quickly blessed is he that keepeth the sayings 
of the prophecy of this book. All right. So Yahweh Shem Yahweh is telling us through the Spirit that He's here. He's he, 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 He's 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 not too far in the heavens. All right. He's about to make His appearance. But it says, "Blessed is He that keepeth the sayings of this prophecy of this book." So, you, blessed are you that are, are that 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 are behooved to receive this. Okay. You, 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 that you're moved to receive these these warnings. All right. And you, and you hold you hold them. The, the beginning of the fear of the Lord, the beginning of knowledge is the fear of the Lord. Okay. So these prophecies of this book is what's going to keep you uh, 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 in the knowing, watchful. Because when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction shall fall upon them from up on high. So that's what's coming, man. Okay, the Third World's War. They're gearing up over there in the Middle East, man. All right, something's about to pop off as the brothers we all know just by seeing it, knowing the scriptures, you know the prophecies. All right, you got all the, the the major heads of of the of the countries, you know these nations gathering up, and that's that's a big sign. To see these major nations gathering up, you know, and 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 going into something, you know that's that's they're not just getting gearing up for nothing, man. They're not taking out all their troops and their their, their their Humvees and their their helicopters and their battleships and their jets, they ain't doing all that for nothing. They're not exercising for nothing, man. All right, they're not training for nothing. This is this is the time. But you know, as you know, as always, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to y'all. Bashim y'all was shy. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you, brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Till next time, I want to say shalom.